all that are serving the Lord is blessed by God abundantly. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, bago mag-anniversary, ano pa lang yung bibili natin eh? Pang-instruments pa lang yun. Iba pa yung ating mga uh, mga panghanda gift package pa. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Iba pa yung mga sasakyang ipagsusundo natin. Iba, iba pa yung bayad sa sini hold day po yun. No, Pagkapat gagamitin natin ng ilang oras, pero pabayaran na po natin ng hold day yun para makapagkasikaso na tayo. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Iba pang mga gastusin natin. Amen. No? Aside from uh, more than 100,000 for the instruments that we are going to buy, we are going to rent vehicles, Uh, we are we are going to Dubai. In in fact, nakabili na ho tayo eh. May tao pa ho ba rito? We did already ordered, no? Panghanda package pa. May tao pa ho ba rito? Pre-gift pa or package for the poor. Nagikinig pa ho ba tayo rito? Amen po ba? Sino rin din nagbigay na para sa anniversary? Kung di pa kayo nagbibigay, kaya lang kayo magbibigay. Kaya Next year, hindi po. If you are not yet no, giving for the anniversary, giving sacrificially for the anniversary, then do it now. As I said before last the Sunday, as I, as I prophesied last Sunday, do something uh, great for God, do something best for God, And the Lord will bless us abundantly, more than we ever expect or even imagine. Amen. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? May tao pa ho ba rito? At gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, itong darating na anibersaryo, ako ang pinakamalaking magbibigay. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. In this forthcoming anniversary, I will be the one to give the best. I will give my best. Amen. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? To all the members of the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship around the world, I'm the number one that will give my best for this coming, for, for, for our forthcoming anniversary. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Brethren, let us not exempt ourselves. Huwag tayong mag-exempted ng ating mga sarili. Magaya niyang sinabi ni Sister Christy D.G. kanina, huwag tayong tagapakinig lang tapos walang nangyayari. As Sister Christy D.G. said in her exhortation, let us not just listen and after that, nothing happens. Let us listen and put into practice whatever message that we are hearing. Amen? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Palapakan natin si Lord. Next, dili natin ang pagbasa. Verse 16 hanggang 17. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace and by the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. Do not take your servant for a wicked man I have or wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace. And may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of Him. Hallelujah. Masyado matindi yung pananalangin niya. Araw-araw po may prayer meeting sa aming bahay. Totoo po yan. Gaano man kami kabisi, nag-araw-araw na nanalangin kami. Bago matulog yung mga anak ko, nasa bahay ako, magpipray kami. Pag wala ako roon at matutulog na sila, binibili na may makasama ko sa bahay. Bago kayo matulog, mag-pray kayo. Hindi lang sila yung nagpe-pray ka sa amin. Anak ko, meron pang grupo na nananalangin araw-araw sa aming tahanan. For your FYI, for your information, we are praying nightly in our house. Yes. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? No. We are praying nightly. I assigned a group that will pray night, nightly in our house. And before my kids 
sleep. Pinamumunahan ko, I lead them in prayer. Yes. May tao pa humor ito? May tao pa humor ito? Inuulit ko, nag-a-assign ako ng mananalangin. Ang totoo nga, sabi ni Sister Raquel ngayon, Pastor, pagpapasting na po ako, three days and three nights, pinigil ko muna siya sa glit. Sabi ko, before anniversary na lang. In fact, Sister Raquel wants to pray and fast for three days and three nights. No bread, no food, nothing. For three days and three nights. But I asked her, uh, not now. Ayusin mo muna yung physical mong katawan. Prepare yourself. Then fast. Nakikinig po ka tayo. Gusto ko sabihin sa inyo, tingin kayo sa akin, para lalo ang panalangin natin ay mapabilis at sumagot ka agad ng matindi ang Lord mag-ayuno tayo. Sapagat ang pag-aayuno ay pinapadali ng Diyos ang pagsagot. At kung gusto natin makita na itong anniversary natin at after ng ating, ating anniversary, patuloy na magiging matagumpay ang kita mag Jesus Fellowship, Let us all pray and pass. If you if you want to see your prayer easily answered by the by God, no, associate it with fasting. Combine it with fasting. May tao pa ho barito. And if we want to see our forthcoming anniversary victorious. And our ministry next year become victor more victorious. Each one of us must pray and pass. Nagipinig pa kung batay rito. Walang matutulog. Yung gusto matulog dito kapit naman nito. Pero yun hindi napapangat. Pangat yung may matulog. Papasimento na papapikuran na lang natin yun. Nagipinig pa kung bakayo. Tingin ko yun sa akin. It's one of us. For our forthcoming anniversary, we will pass and pray. Amen? Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Maraming uri ng pasting. Number one, alimbawa, ang kinakain mo sa isang kain, tatlong plato na pagkain. Gawin mo na lang na isang plato, ang tawag doon ay partial pasting. Pag ikaw ay naghahapunan at huwag ka nang maghapunan, alam sa tanghalian nila, ang tawag doon ay partial fasting. There are different kinds of fasting. Number one is partial fasting. No? Ang ibig sabihin ng partial fasting, binabawasan mo yung kain mo. No? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? No? Supposing you are eating, no? Three plates of food, no? Make it one. And that is partial fasting. If you are eating dinner, don't eat dinner. Just take your lunch and breakfast. And that is partial fasting. Nakikinig po ba tayo? Hello? Kaya yung mga matataba, huwag kayong mag-diet, mag-fasting kayo. You big people, don't reduce and diet. Pas, Amen. E tao pa ho ba rito? Walang sumasagot. At yung mga ayaw tumaba. No? And those who are slim and don't want to become fat, don't reduce and diet, but fast. Amen. E tao pa ho ba rito? Amen po ba? Walang rin sumasagot. Yan. Ganun yun. Another fasting is this. One whole day, you will not eat. No, you will not eat solid food, nor soup. You will just take water in a day for 24 hours. And that is normal fasting. Kapag sa loob ng isang araw, hindi ka kakain, Nang ano pa man, hindi ka rin niinom ng juice ng gatas, hindi ka magsusup, tubig lang ang iinumin mo in a day. 
And that is normal fasting. Amen. And you can survive no food, only water for 40 days. And Jesus Christ did it. And many also did it. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? I did fast uh, 40 days many times. Excluding nights. Nakikinig pa ho ba kayo? Nasubukan ko na maraming beses, hindi ako kumain ng apat na pong araw. Walang almusal, walang merienda, walang tanghalian, walang merienda. Hapunan lang gabi-gabi for 40 days. Ilang beses kong ginawa po yan. Ang ginagawa ko lang, I just take soft food nightly. Many times I did fast for 40 days, excluding the nights, the dinner, the, the dinner but I only take soft food during the night. I did that for 40 days. Nakikinig po ba tayo? That is, that is why the anointing in my life is so great, so strong because of fasting. Yes. You praise and worship ministers, especially the big ones. Fast like a fasting that you have never done before. Before you stand in the States, in this coming fourth, coming anniversary, this coming anniversary, fourth coming anniversary, pass. Nobody is, is exempted. Pitao pa ulo rito. Have a haircut! You are under grace period at this moment. But, 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 mabawat pat ka. <laughs> <laughs> Nagkikilig pa uwa tayo. Have a proper haircut. Have a proper dress. During anniversary. Pass before anniversary. Amen! This is not a joke. I'm not kidding. If, you, if we want to see the glory of God in our lives, we have to pass. Kung gusto nating makita ang kalawalatian ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay, mag-ayuno tayo. May tao pa ho ba rito? Mag-ayuno tayo. You're asking, man of God, why the anointing of the Lord is so strong in your life? Because I have a regular fasted life. Yes. And many times I did fast for 40 days. No, no breakfast, no meriem, no, no snacks, no lunch, no snacks again. Only dinner for 40 days. Nakikinig pa ko ba tayo? For 40 nights. Hello, may tao pa ko ba rito? Praise and worship ministers and all leaders of the KOJM around the world. Please pray and fast like you have never done before. Give up your cell phone and pass. Give up your laptops and Facebooks and iPads and computers and fast. Amen. Give up our vices and fast. Fasting that to like, like we have never done before. May tao pa ho ba rito? Fasting. Sabi nga ni Sister Christy D.G. Nakakahamon ang buhay ni Nanay. Cora Fabrigar. Sabagat si Nanay Cora Fabrigar tumanggap sa SSS. Yung unang tanggap niya sa SSS na namsa manaking halaga, binigay niya lahat sa Panginoon. Yes! According to Sister Christy D.G., the life of Nanay Cora Fabrigar, an old woman in the church, an old leader in the church, I believe she is now... Uh, Ilan taon na kayo, Nanay? How old are you, Nanay? How old are you, Nanay? 71 at her age, you know, she received a lump sum amount of money, lump sum of money, big amount of money coming from SSS, coming from her retirement fee. Yes, but what she did, she gave them all to the Lord. Yes, all I tell you, no single penny left in her pocket. In her ATM account or, in, or her, her passbook, she gave the most to the Lord. Yes. And 
Sister Christy DJ on the life of Nanay Cora is an encouragement to me. And not only that, at her age, 71, she is fasting 15 days. No food for 15 days. She is fasting. Nag-aayuno siya ng labing limang araw walang pagkain at her age. You see? Nakikinig po ba tayo? Tumanggap siya ng malaking pera mula sa SSS. Pinigay niya lahat sa Panginoon. Sa totoo lang eh. Pinigay niya yung ATM niya, passbook niya, sinurrender niya. Pakiwithdraw na lang po. Yes. Yung passbook, kasama ba siya nag-withdraw? Hello! May tao pa ho ba rito? Nakikinig ka lang ba? Pero wala kang tugon? Are you just listening but no action? Are you just listening but not putting it to practice? And the other Christian DG. No? Challenge by the light, not just by the exhortation of Nicora Pabrigal. Tumos na na ngayon si Sister Christian DG. Yung laman ng passbook niya, sinurrender niya rin. Yes. Mga alahas niya, sinurrender niya rin sa Panginoon. Yes. Hello! Ito ako ba rito? As Sister Chrissy DG challenged by the, not just by the exhortation, but by the life of Taikora Mabrigar. Now, Sister Chrissy DG is doing the same thing. Yes. Surrendering her ATM, surrendering her, his, her passbook. Giving her a jewelry to the Lord. Yes! Nakikinig po ba kayo? Kaya minsan may mga nagsasabi, parang si pastor may pinipili, parang si pastor may kinikilingan, hindi naman sa ganun. Pero kung magka minsan, nakaka-bless talaga ang mga taong kagaya nila. Amen. Hindi ka mangingimi na binigay nila ang buhay nila sa Diyos. Hindi ka mangingimi na binigay mo rin ang buhay mo sa kanila. Yes! May tao pa ba rito? Your, you know their lives are an encouragement to us. As they are giving their everything to God. No? You will not double mind to give your everything to them. Nakikinig po ba tayo? Hello! At gusto kong sabihin sa inyo again, let me repeat my prophecy. As I said a while ago, before the end of this year, are you writing it down? The Lord will do something great in our lives before the end of this year. Bago matapos ang taong ito, gagawa ang Diyos ang takilang bagay. Expect for it sapagat mangyayari yun. Asahan mo. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, asahan mo. A true prophet prophesied in the name of the Lord and it shall come to pass. What are the marks of the true prophets of God? Number one, whatever He says is in the Bible. You can find it in, you can, you can find it in the Bible. And number two, whatever he says in the name of the Lord shall come to pass. If he is saying, prophesying that comes from the Bible, then he is a false prophet of God. And he, if he or she prophesying, and uh, hindi naman nangyayari, no? it, shall not, it shall not come to pass, then she, he or she, a false prophet of God. But I tell you as a true prophet of God, before this year and before the end of this year, the Lord will do again something great in our lives. Hallelujah! And you must be excited! Napakaganda ng sinabi ni Sister Christy DG. Don't just listen. Put into practice whatever you heard from the Lord. Nagiginig pa ba tayo? Gusto mo ba na bago matapos ang taong ito, yung mabago ang buhay mo? Do you want your life to be changed before the end of this year? So do and give your best to God. The best giving. No? Anything that you can do to God, your best. 
Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? There's giving that you have never done before in your whole life. And I tell you, the Lord will do something great. Not only for us, but even for our loved ones. A great promotion, a great blessings that we have never experienced before in our entire life. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Bago matapos ang taong ito, gumawa ka ng dakilang bagay mula sa Panginoon. Magbigay ka ng the best. Listen to me. Tingin kayo sa akin. This is not a joke. Hikayatan na ninyo ang inyong lahat ng bahal sa buhay. Hikayatan na ninyo ang lahat na lahat ng mga kamag-anakan ninyo dito sa Pilipinas ng sa ibang bansa. Sabihin ninyo ang totoo. Sinasabi ng totoong lingkod na Diyos, mga totoong lingkod na Diyos, nagaganap. Kung gusto natin kumangat pa ang ating buhay, kumangat ang ating, kumangat ang ating buhay, kumangat ang ating buhay, bago matapos ang taong ito, lalo na para sa anagarsari, gumawa tayo, pagbigay tayo ng the best, na hindi pa natin ginawa sa tanang buhay natin. At may pangako ang Diyos, uulad ang buhay natin sa isang pagulad, kasama ang ating mga mahal sa buhay, sa isang pagulad na hindi pa natin naranasan sa tanang buhay natin. Palapakan natin sa buhay. Tell your relatives, tell your loved ones, the members of your family, tell them, as the prophet of God is saying, do something for God. Give something for God that you have never done before, that you have never been given before in your entire life, full life, before the end of this year. And the Lord promised that the Lord will bless that, bless us abundantly, mightily, greatly, tremendously, that we have never experienced even our loved ones in our whole life. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon sa buhay. Huwag kayo tingin ang tingin kung saan-saan. You will be distracted. For the meantime, just bow down your heads and close your eyes. Just for the meantime, we are not yet done. We are not yet over. Just for the meantime, just bow down your heads and close your eyes. And as you are bowing down your heads, and as you close your eyes, then think. Think. Don't look at me. Don't do talk to the person beside you. Please, don't do that. No need to see the person's face beside you. No need to talk to him. Close your eyes, then talk to your God. What amount of money are you going to give to God for our anniversary? What amount of money are you going to give to God? What will you do to God for our forthcoming anniversary? No one. Everybody, each one of us, nobody is exempted. Love the Lord with all my
passing and we are wasting our lives to many things. But we are not offering our lives to God. Time is passing and we are wasting lots of money, plenty of money but not for God. This is the time to put God on top. This is the time to serve the Lord now. This is the time to offer our best now for God. And God is faithful to all His promises. He is a just God. He will return hundredfolds even thousand votes and million votes. Everything that we are about to give to the Lord. Maraming oras, maraming panahon, maraming taon na nasasayang sa buhay natin. Pero hindi naman ginagamit para sa Panginoon. At maraming salapi ang nasasayang. Napupunta sa maraming bagay pero hindi naman sa Diyos. Pagkakataon natin ngayong makabalik. Ibigay at gumawa tayo ng tabis para sa Panginoon. At may pangako ang Diyos. Tapat ang Diyos sa kanyang mga pangako. Ibabalik ito ng sobra-sobra pa. Maraming tao humihingi sa Diyos. Ang hindi nila alam ay hinihingi rin ang Diyos sa kanila. You know, the Lord wants us to prosper abundantly. God wants to do something great 